Welcome to another episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your host, George, Dan, Gabe, and Link. <laughs> I didn't know what to do there. I don't know about you guys, but it's been quite a week for me. How about you? How you guys? How you guys doing? I had a Coke, Coca-Cola at 2 p.m., 2.30-ish. I am going to sleep late tonight. So I'm that's still well. like I'm doing well. How are you guys? A two thirty coke still affects you all the way to like, like very, nine p.m. A very high, low tolerance to caffeine. I don't know why. Or high. I think You're it's very, a psychological thing. It's a it's a it's mental in my brain. Thing. Yeah, I don't think caffeine's real. I'm just kidding. I agree. Like, no, that's incorrect. No, I agree. Caffeine yeah, is it, uh, a conspiracy. Okay. Caffeine is a construct. Used against us? It's used against... Well, it's definitely not used for us. Okay. How about you? How about you, Dan? You, I mean, Dan. You're Gabe. I get the host mixed up. People think that we, like, spend a lot of time together, but we really, like, only we see We are each not other. friends. Yeah, actually, we're not. We're Some of us, actually, since the show started, we don't even get along. Like, we barely even talk outside of the show. I despise all three of you. It's like a band, <laughs> you know, that, like, after years on the road, like, they can't even stand each other, but yeah. but they have to stay together for the kids. For the money. Well, for the kids? For me, it's for the kids. For Link, it's for the money. What, what makes you stay together? What kids are we talking about? The viewers? The, I don't I'm. <laughs> it's just a saying. You stay together for the kids. Oh, okay. I think it would be metaphorical with a band. It would be like the fans, you know. The, the okay, kids, so the viewers, yeah, 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 yeah. The groupies. The, no. the McGuffies. No, the McGuffiners. The McMuffins. The McMuffins. Oh, that's Straight right. It, well, it depends how, much, it depends how much money you contribute, right? That's you're, right. You're either a guff, a McGuffer, <laughs> or, a, or a whole oh. McMuffin. Or a quarter McGuffiner with cheese. That's, they call them royales with cheese. Yeah. Okay. N not in America. That's fair. Um, Gabe, are you okay there? What? Gabe, are you I'm here? Are you oh, present? I am. I'm struggling. Struggling. Why are you struggling? It's been a long week. Uh, lots of stuff with school. Lots of not sleeping. Yeah. Um, and it's not even because it's like going to bed late. It's mainly just I just can't stay asleep. So, sleep deprivation okay. uh, has been causing me to go insane. I do, like, wake up pretty early, like at 4.30 in the morning. And then there's certain nights where I go to sleep later. So, I sleep in later, but I still wake up at 4.30 in the morning. So, that extra, like, hour, hour and a half, I have to force myself back to sleep. And sometimes it's just that like sounds a, terrible. Yeah, I waste like a half hour to get that last yeah, hour of so, sleep. Trying to go back to sleep sucks because once I'm up, like I'm pretty much up. But I mean, that is the case. Sometimes I have to like make myself go back to bed. Dan wouldn't know anything about this because he hasn't slept in weeks. I think he's nocturnal. Uh, I, spent, I spent 48 hours awake. <laughs> is, is that true? 48 straight hours? Close. I don't know when's the last um, time I've gone. I tried to take a power nap, and then my building's fire alarm went off <laughs> um, for 30 minutes. Link hates fire like, alarms. Wait, so <laughs> when, you're, when that happens, are you supposed to evacuate the building? I stayed. I don't think you're supposed to. What if it was a real fire, dude? Yeah, what if you... No one else was outside, so I was okay. like, you know what? This happened. I was at... Uh, a doctor's appointment and the fire alarm went off and no one in the building moved <laughs> and like clearly I, I work at a school so you were ready to. You it were doesn't ready. matter what happens you, were ready. you stop what you're doing and you exit the building yeah you're ready to get your clipboard and look for this <laughs> yeah I was gonna take attendance <laughs> All right. I was like oh, who? what doctor's working with doctor office? house here okay. he steals the nurse's chart uh, doctor who no actually doctor who is doctor who doctor doom are you here doctor doom is doctor doolittle here doctor yeah both Eddie Murphy and Robert Downey Jr is doctor Zayas doctor Zayas yeah doctor Seuss doctor Seuss doctor Zeus doctor Zeus doctor Zeus yeah Zeus like the lightning guy yeah Oh, mm -hmm. isn't that what you meant when you said Zeus? 
No, what? The guy from Planet of the Apes. How do you spell that? Z A U S, if I'm not Is mistaken. Dr. Is Dr. Hibbert Zaus? here? Zayas? Is Dr. Nick here? Is Dr. Doolittle here? D- I already said that, bro. Yeah, man. Come oh, on, no, man. he was naming I'm the lagging, other one. I'm lagging, bro. You no, know, uh, he was naming the other one. Oh, the Robert yeah. Downey Jr. one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, the, wasn't there another Dr. Doolittle before that? Like Queen Latifah has a Dr. Doolittle, right? Oh, my what? goodness. Yeah, it's called the Equalizer. <laughs> That can't be. Tr- oh my goodness, she is the equalizer too. What is the matter with Hollywood? But is it, is, there's another is there's better. another equalizer now though. Like not another, but I think they're doing a prequel of Queen Latifah the equalizer. How does that even make I sense? Think she's young. I think it's, it's like another. It's a, pre- she's it's a prequel to the sequel to the remake. It's a prequelizer. <laughs> a prequelizer. I kind of love that. Sometimes I feel like Hollywood's run out of creative like, names. No, not the you equalizer is an old name. It's like a '70s thoughts. show. That's yeah, a, but they didn't. They could have the movie. There was a two equalizer two, right? Yeah, and it wasn't called the sequelizer. That was a mistake. That, that was, was a mistake. That was a big yeah. misstep. I How do you not like see the money signs coming from that? They're making yeah. a third one. Hmm. So they gave it another chance. Yeah. It's, well, you're just gonna step on my transition. <laughs> I was just about to go into it. <laughs> that was so. Perfectly crafted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. So they, so they gave it another. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that and I'm going to go into. Take another stab at that. The one we rehearsed instead. Uh, Try again. It's been a pretty long week. And sometimes I feel like. Man, now it feels just artificial doing it. Now I feel like a phony. You got to do it. Sometimes it feels like I would like a second chance. <laughs> I kind of like yours better now, Link. Let's just why don't you just, why don't you just pitch this week's topic? So I can't believe they're giving the Equalizer two another chance. That's our topic, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. How can we write the third equalizer movie that's what we're gonna do right what now is this movie about? live on the air what is this movie about our so show's not live what is our setting who are our characters okay <laughs> we know that denzel is one of them everyone already stopped playing the episode they've left now but today's episode we're, we're talking about second chances of <laughs> that's of, as far as he yeah, got <laughs> far, yeah. hi george go ahead okay so smooth transition sometimes like in our lives where we feel like we need a do-over, Hollywood, as you mentioned, sometimes doesn't have the best ideas, so they look back at what they've already done, especially nowadays when like intellectual property is just a gold mine for creating new content because you already own the rights. You don't have to license it. It's just sitting in a vault somewhere and in some like drawer. You've got the, the contract already written up. So Hollywood likes to dig back and give projects some second chances, sometimes third or fourth. But we wanted to focus on projects in the world of media that maybe didn't get a fair shake or weren't released in the the right time or just didn't hit the mark on what they should have been. It was a good idea. It was a good concept. Maybe, again, not the right time or maybe not the right creators. Or just not the right pitch. Mm. So today's episode, we're going to look back at some of those projects that kind of didn't meet our expectations. And we're going to give them a chance to hit me, baby, one more time. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. So. Oh, it's tradition now. Okay. We're going to have to explain this at some point. We're three for three. Um, Since you came up with this idea. And I'm just going to lie on air. So this was your idea, Link. <laughs> this was your pitch for an episode. It was. It was? <laughs> it was I, said I, was, I just said I was going to lie. Um, <laughs> yeah, Gabe, Gabe wasn't there. He actually died. All right. I'm awake. I'm here. Let's do this. All right. 110%. Meta, meta, metaphorically, Papa Celsius. I'm not drinking. Yeah. Caffeine is uh, a construct. That's right. All right. Let's go. Thanks to uh, Gabe's doctor who's recommended that he stop drinking 8 to 12 Celsius Maybe a day. that's what it is. <laughs> maybe I just had referred pain from my heart. My heart was giving out, and then it just shot through my arm. Yeah. Or maybe you're having withdrawals, Celsius withdrawals. That's a, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I wouldn't be surprised. 
It's a conspiracy. Link, start us off. You got one shot. Don't start <laughs> don't start singing the lyrics to the boom, 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 Okay. Boom, 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 Technically boom, you didn't start singing the lyrics. Eight so. mile two. <laughs> okay. Eight you, point two. Sixteen miles. <laughs> No, it's 8.2. Nine miles. Why would it be 8.2 miles? <laughs> because. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> another, what, like 45 seconds of running? Yeah. It's, that's, a, that's, a, un, that's his director's cut. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fair. Yeah. That's what people want. Give <laughs> us the, give us the, who directed that movie? Do we know? Give us the eight mile cut. Give I us the Eminem it- cut. I think it was Eminem. Eminem directed the movie. I'm just going to assume it was true. Eminem. It was not Eminem. No, he did not direct the movie. It was. It was, it was, Rash- it was Rashida Jones. It was a Rashida That's Jones. That's also not true. Um, Man, it was Eminem. So now there is this show that I think should des- deserve the second chance. Okay. A television show. A Bold television movie. show, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm disappointed that it didn't get a second chance. It came from a, a, such a popular show. A massive show. And they only gave it one season. And I think that's blasphemous. Okay. The show I'm talking about is Joey. <laughs> now you might be asking yourself, <laughs> Joey, what is that? Isn't that the name of a baby kangaroo? No. Well, it I'm, is though. Yes, you're right. <laughs> that's not what I meant. Kangaroos are constructs. They're not real. That's right. Have you ever seen what's inside the pouch of a kangaroo? Uh, no. Another no. kangaroo? Uh, no, it's, just, it's creepy. It's not as adorable as it look, what you think it'd be. Well, <laughs> when it's a Pokemon, it's adorable. Yeah. Anyways. Or Kanga and Rue from Winnie the Pooh. They're kind of adorable, too. That's what I thought. It, you know, anyways. Anyways. You thought they'd have t-shirts? They, yeah. Okay. I thought there'd be like a house, you know, a little cottage, <laughs> jazz music playing. It was just bones and hair. It was disgusting. Ew, what? There's bones in there? <laughs> yeah, you can see like the bone, like a little, it's weird. <laughs> We're still talking uh, about the pouch? Yeah, pouch, yeah. This, I thought he was talking about the show this, already. This, okay, I'm like, sorry. There's bones, bones and hair and Joey. <laughs> so the, so the show I'm talking about is All Joey. All the shows on Showtime, the reboot. The show I'm talking about is Joey, and it, uh, what is it? It's uh, not a sequel, it's a spinoff of Friends mm-hmm. with the character Joey Tribbiani, who, after Friends ends, moves to California, to Hollywood, to pursue acting. It only got one season. Actually, I think I looked this up the other day. I think it has a second season that I have never seen or heard of. Second season? I mean, that's according to Just Watch. Shout oh. out, Just Watch. The oh, app. then, I then, guess it did then never mind. They, yeah, yeah, they got a second chance. <laughs> that's, so this episode's about third chance. <laughs> ah, that's right. Scrap it, scrap it. <laughs> so a third season oh. of Joey. <laughs> wait, wait, no, but if this is second chance, don't we have to reboot it? Like, you got to ignore it. Season one and two, and start Joey over from right now. Yeah. Okay. So yes. So we know that Friends ended in two thousand four. Mm-hmm. Joey would be re- happening in two thousand twenty two. All right. Do we pretend like Friends just happened? So like. Yeah, yeah, and it does. It does not explain why he's aged. <laughs> it does not explain why. He- his voice sounds like he's been smoking cigars. It's still Matt LeBlanc. It's, like it's still Matt LeBlanc. Camino. Okay. Movie. It's El Camino book. And that's what it is, you know. It's <laughs> it's a for some reason it's this thirty five year old man that looks like he's fifty with thirty five? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It looks like he's it. fifty with these catchphrases that only worked in the nineties. <laughs> you know. Oh, he's, he's really, still doing yeah. like how you doing? How you doing type of thing. And okay. that's what the show is about. It's a man learning that, hey, the world has progressed. Some of the things I say aren't that uh Oh, so he faces he's like he's facing, okay. you know, he's facing uh, being canceled. This is just Cobra Kai. <laughs> Wait, so he's like a boomer, but he's thirty five. Yeah, yeah, he looks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he looks fifty. No, no, he looks. I mean, because time, <laughs> time is a construct. Okay. Um. Do, yeah. And every once in a while, characters from Friends show up. <laughs> Chandler would oh, come. Good luck with that. But they're recasted. Not all of them together. Because that's, yeah. <laughs> that's the money, bro. We don't got that. <laughs> they don't have that money. But Chandler comes. Mm-hmm. And they play foosball. And that's a whole episode right there. Them Just a game foosball. of foosball. A game like of foosball. Like a 30-minute game of foosball. 22 another, with commercials. 22. Another, another episode is Monica cleaning his bathroom. <laughs> is <he? laughs> Separate. She's not with Chandler. They're married. They're but married. They but don't he, come but together. Yeah, she flies from New York just to clean his bathroom. <laughs> Um, another, she's on a FaceTime call with him. Yeah, sees how dirty, while she's still on the FaceTime call, flies. flies yeah, 
somehow she has signal on the flight. You know, they have Wi-Fi in the planes. Yeah, I it. don't know. I can't afford that. But. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, Monica has that Chandler money. That's right. Because of what he does. Because what he does. Processing. Um, a, no, he's a transponster. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, Ma- Rachel and Ross go on another break. This time, Rachel <laughs> flies to New York. Uh, After, to, like, to, are they married already? I'm not sure. It's in, It's ambiguous. They fly. Oh, to, like, they, like she flies Spider-Man to Hollywood and Mary Jane. Yeah, and no way home. Yeah, she flies to to Hollywood. Right? It's the. You know what? I'm gonna take a break from from being a parent because that's what I do. Give my child to my grand to my mom. Uh, and I'm on a break, and I'm gonna let loose. And guess what? She rekindles with Joey. <laughs> Season ending. The way you gasped for yourself. And that's how season two, season one ends with Roz coming in, seeing them make out. And then she goes, we were on a break. (laughs) Bam. (laughs) Credit scene. Bro, you just got Joey canceled again. Like, I think it it worked. I think it'll work, man. (laughs) And then season one is that drama of were they on a break? Were they not on a break? What's Joey's relationship with Ross now? What? Season one. I'm sorry. Yeah. Season two. Is it. Season two. <laughs> it's season two. I'm sorry. That's just the Christmas break. Like that's. That, that's yeah. That's just like eleven episodes in. Yeah. Woo. So. All right, really quick. How does it end? How does the whole show end? Let's say it goes on. How long is this show gonna go? I'd say it goes five seasons. It doesn't go longer than that. Okay. Um, it ends with Joey ends up. Joey ends up in a reboot of Days of Our Lives as Dr. Drake Ramore's so twin can't... brother. <laughs> what's Drake Ramore's twin brother's name? Um, what's Drake Ramore's twin brother's name? Yes. <laughs> it's Mike Flang- did, did Mike Flange Mike Flange Mike Flange Ramore. Okay. Wait a minute. If it's a reboot of Days of Our Lives, why does he have to be his twin brother? Why can't he just be Drake Ramore again? Because been there, done that. Been there, done that. Yeah. Okay, all right. We want, we're gonna try, we want to try we something new. No break. So yeah, so that's how that's how you that's how I would do <laughs> Joey. Excellent. I mean, um, I feel like how do you where do you go from there? Like end the episode. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. Like, if you want to hear about other projects being rebooted on <laughs> Patreon, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Um. I kind of just want to give everything to you. <laughs> just, kinda, no, I've never been so invested in anything in my life. Yeah, was so I the only? Confused. Go ahead. I've never been so confused. Yeah, was anyone like so invested that they were visualizing everything too? Like, yeah, like Jennifer Aniston now. Uh, yeah, the guy who plays Roz. Oh, David <laughs> Schwimmer now. Like, I was gonna say Roz. That was so incredibly well thought. Yeah, I've had years. <laughs> this whole episode was just because Link has been wanting to reboot Joey. Because for... I've been wanting to watch a season two of Joey that I didn't know existed. <laughs> I don't even know how to get it. Is it on Peacock? Nope. It's not on Warner it's Brothers. Not on anything? It's, it's not, not on, on HBO anything. Max. I don't even think you can get the DVD. What? Although if you can, I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. Oh, we'll watch. We're all watching. We'll do. Have, oh, we're having watch parties. Yeah. Tell your tell your family you can't see them. We're busy all Christmas. <laughs> all right dan what about you if you had a project that you could reboot what would be that project um really hard to follow up the incredible saga yeah that we just got from link but i would give guardians of gahul a second chance oh you're um, still on about this man <clears throat> I don't even know. Over it. Aren't, they keeps on... like th- aren't they getting like a third movie? Chris Pratt and all them. A third movie? What are you saying? <laughs> Chris Pratt. Keeps uh, on mentioning. He's in Guardians, Guardians of Gap. Dave oh. Batista. Oh, I see uh... what you did there. Okay. What is he talking um, about? So Think about the Owl movie by Zack Snyder. Still, the only good Zack Snyder movie. I still movie. don't oh, know God. what this movie yeah. is. The number, the number 7, 9, and 13 search item that gets people to watch this show. Gahul. Guardians of Gaul. Gaul, yeah. Like, we're really big in the Guardians of Gaul fan, like, 
sphere. Zack Snyder's best. <laughs> We're the only Zack podcast Snyder's best talking film? about. <laughs> yes, that is his best. You know what? I think in the perfect world where we spin off to have separate shows, Dan hosts a weekly Guardians of Galhul uh, discussion. It's a book club. Yeah, it's a book club. How many books are there? Twenty three. The fact that he knows that off the top of his it's, head. It's actually. I think that might be a wrong. Yeah, no, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think. You, no, you know it exactly. Stick to um, your guns and say it with your chest. It's it's a group of. It's kind of like therapy of a group group of of fans of the movie wishing that they lived in that world. Wishing that they were owls. And they and they come <laughs> oh, dressed as owls okay. and they have like little meetings in hotels do you, and they. Link, do you remember the episode? <laughs> yeah, that's what, I, with John Wilson, that's what I'm trying. Yeah. Avatar. Yeah, that's what I'm... And they, they learn how to speak the language. I think that'll be my, my podcast. Oh. I don't know, but I feel yeah, like... I want 23 films. <laughs> I feel like one of, <laughs> one of the movies, one of the films should be them fighting against turkeys. <laughs> it's like, can't laugh. <laughs> they should get their own streaming service. No, they should be... Yeah, I agree. It's just 23 movies. They should, one of them should be them fighting turkeys. Like, there's this huge war between yeah. the owls of Gahul... <laughs> And and the Thanksgiving turkeys. I just want it to be like the next MCU. Yeah. <laughs> just really. Yeah. MCU. Oh, so like there's different owl movies and like teams of like, owls. No, yeah, it's the exactly. James Bond of films for animals. Oh, okay. Exactly. And they recast like, the owls. Zack Snyder can't work on anything else. Like this is well, this okay. Is it. You're getting me on board. Yeah, maybe that's a reason to do this. <laughs> you know what? I'm interested now. That's it. Um, you know? yeah. How many how, overwork every single CGI team? How, <laughs> how many? Because these got to be out every six months. Nah, man, live action. How many? How many versions of each movie are you getting? You know, you're getting a, a Snyder cut, a black and white cut. <laughs> That's true. You can just like. That's how you're gonna milk this. What's the? Justice is great, Justice but is it's Cahul's. Uh, no. Guardians is gray? No, I think it's uh, owls. Uh, owls are gray. Owls is Guardian, owls. Guardians is Gahul. But yeah, I have I, I have to I watch this movie because I don't pitch. even know what this movie is. Th- this that's okay, so this has nothing to do with Guardians of Gahul. But when you were talking about the owls, I just I don't know why I just flashed back to Sonic the Sonic, Hedgehog. I was literally yes, about to th- where I was like. Would they do the origin with the owls versus the who are the guys in the trees? Are they rats, meerkats? I don't know. Meerkins. The knuckles. Oh, all oh, the echidnas. That makes sense because knuckles, right? <laughs> They're rats. <laughs> rat. Beat. Knuckles, the rat ninja. Um, so the echidnas versus the owls, and I know that it's from the video games, but I was just like, "What the heck is going on? This is so weird. This is what Sonic the Hedgehog is about." The cross, oh, that, the you know what? We should. That's the that's the MCU connection. That's the seventeenth right movie in the in the saga. Mm. Exactly, Sonic. I have nothing else to say. Okay, I, I think I've only read the first like two books. <laughs> <laughs> what? We thought you like. Wait, are there really twenty three books? No, I just looked it up. There's, There's sixteen books. There's sixteen Guardians of God. I'm disappointed books. in you, Dan, for not uh, knowing that. No, because I still want twenty three he, movies. He's waiting. It's like uh, oh, okay, Game yeah. of Thrones. Like they haven't written seventeen to twenty three. Yeah, oh, yet. the author is just okay. Yeah, <laughs> the author doing everything go, but finishing that book. The author he went to go do a video game. He went to do a video the game. Went yeah. To go After that, he's gonna do, he got distracted. He after, wrote another book. Afterwards, he's gonna do a prequel. Also, a show prequel. Exactly. As another side note, just going back to what we were talking about earlier, you can get Joey season one on DVD on Amazon for sixty-five dollars. <laughs> you can get Joey season two for five hundred and fourteen dollars. And now you guys know what I want for my birthday. <laughs> Why is season Christmas? two so much more valuable? Wait, I think they only printed three of them. <laughs> five hundred dollars. Did anyone watch this? All right, guys. If you want link. To watch season two of Joey, donate to our Patreon. Uh, support us on Red Circle. I don't even know where else can they send T- money. T- just look up Link Rusi on Venmo. I'm just kidding. Not- <laughs> just put out my last name. Oh crap! <laughs> yeah, it's always it's always more work for me every time. <laughs> every time I hear a last name, part of He's me dies. Here. How did that? How did that slip <laughs> yeah. out? That's the last person I would have expected to make that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. We all are. Okay. Anyways, so 
Joey season two, five hundred and thirteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. I apologize. <laughs> Um and oh, Guardians of Galaxy. Cool. Nobody's seen this movie, right? Only Dan has seen this movie. Is this supposed to be good, Dan? <laughs> Is it supposed to be good? Yeah, like okay, like did I forgot? Was that it was disappointing for you? Like it wasn't what you expected, or you think the movie? No, it was good? fantastic. Oh, the movie's fantastic. Okay, it's it's perfect. Okay, I think it might be the best movie ever made. So, <laughs> oh come on, give me a break. But okay, so you're saying then you would want a sequel, not a reboot? I mean, if they continued it, that's fine. Okay. So, again, not sticking to the theme. What is do... Gahul? A place. <laughs> it's a people. It's a people. It's not a place. It's a people. Mm, but they're not people. Google. They're out. It's a Gahul. It's, it's, not not be it's not a place. I'm it's a sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure Gahul is the tree, but I have no idea. I can't. I have you no want 23 idea. movies. <laughs> yeah. He want, because once you get to 15 and 16, <laughs> they, you really need to start splitting them as two. Yeah, mm. it's been it's been a really long time. I think we should read them together. At least the first one. Read them. Read them. Watch them. No, I think we should read the There's first book one. and watch the movie. Yeah, it's only one movie. Okay. I think we, I have all of them. You have all the books. All twenty three books. He has the unreleased sixteen seventeen to twenty three. All right, Gabe. You know what? You know what should actually get a second chance? What? Bone. Oh man! Oh, I know you love that show. That would be pretty cool. If That's Netflix not a show. If Netflix didn't, <laughs> oh book. I'm sorry, a graphic novel. It would have yeah. been. It would have been cool if Netflix didn't cancel them. Just I'm sorry. For Bone. Wait, first of all, Bone had an extensive graphic novel run, and then it has never been adapted. So again, Dan, you're not sticking to the <laughs> theme. The idea is that the the project fell short, so it needs to be redone. You're telling us you liked the Owl movie. This project fell short, and they canceled the Bone one. Yeah, it felt short. Guys, what's this episode about? Second chances. Well, wouldn't it be a second chance at making this movie? Wouldn't it be a second show? chance at making the show? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Even though it's on its third attempt? I feel like that's not what we talked about, but okay. I'll, I'll let okay, it... Okay, second chances. Power Rangers. Oh. The movie. Oh, I mean, that's technically like a third chance also. But... They've had multiple movies. Oh, they only had two. Like those TV movies, like don't really count. They oh, had yeah, Power count. Rangers the movie with, with Ivan Ooze, which I thought was cool growing up. I'm. It's supposed to be really cheesy and corny, but I think you're supposed to like it because it's cheesy and corny. No, nobody else remembers this movie. I remember the second one. I remember I liking the TV ones that get no recognition. I remember liking Power Rangers when I was young. Yeah, I didn't like. I Power don't know Rangers. why. Oh, you I don't love remember Power Rangers? Liked it. I didn't Mighty like the Morphins. show, and I ended up loving the movie. Is that weird? Like Mighty one? Morphins. No. The older movie. Like, I didn't like the show. Like, I was already, like, that age where I was like, oh, I'm, I'm too cool, whatever. I don't like all the Power Rangers runs. Right. But you like Mighty Morphins? Mighty Morphins, good. Yeah, because that one has Kimberly. I don't really like the cop one that they had. Kimberly's beautiful. Kimberly. R.A.P. Kimberly. She's still alive. Oh. <laughs> and she's very talented. Oh, okay. What does she do? I saw her play guitar just a couple of years ago. Like live? She sings them. Um, yeah, she's. How I mean, is, she still acts. She's a How old is she? Do we know? Man, I think she's got to be like. Well, she's got to be older than me, right? Because she was on Power Rangers when I was in middle school. Her 40s? Yeah. You got to research this. Go look, look this up. <laughs> That's. I feel like that didn't end the way I thought. Like he was rationalizing it and then just. You know, love doesn't have a number, Link. You got to open up your mind. There's opportunities out there. You're saying you're going to you're going to no, not I'd be, explore. I'd be too young for her, man. She wouldn't go for a, a young a young buck like me. Don't undersell. No, you don't think she would go for a, a young bull? Isn't that what you call yourself? I do call myself a young bull. <laughs> isn't that what You don't think she would go for that? Isn't that what Ben Affleck calls himself in the movie Geely with Jennifer Lopez? that movie am i the only one who's seen that movie i know you hate it but i've never seen it no i i mean yeah i guess i hate it but it's like i don't hate it because i don't think about it she's 52 oh why would you put that face link <laughs> that's kind of it's like it's okay she's still a person she is but is she, is she married you need I'm you sure need she to is expand married. divorced as of 2017 she has one child <laughs> all of a sudden links back oh 
please make all sure. All I, gotta, <laughs> <Why'd that mean? laughs> all I gotta do is buy her the pink Power Rangers. She too. has a thing. He has a thing for divorcees with children. And it's like the family's already pre-built. He doesn't have to do any work. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All we have to do is just, you know. I want to know what, each, what on, your hands are gonna do right now. Get on top of each other to make a mighty Morphin family. Okay. Yo, Kimberly, Kimberly, no, no, if, you, still... if you're watching no, this. No, please. Can we <laughs> let you we know, haven't even discussed the last Power Rangers movie. The one I didn't with... see it. You got a Mighty Morph. We're going to Mighty Morph. Becky G? Who is Becky G? As with the one with. She's in the movie? Like, she acts? She's a Power Ranger. That's the one, with, the one with uh, um... Naomi Scott? Yeah, exactly. Naomi I like Scott. her. She is that the really one we're good. talking about? Is Becky G in that movie? Yeah. I don't even know who Becky G is. I don't know I'm Becky sorry. G is, I'm yeah. old. But I, I don't know who that is either. So. Oh, okay. Dan your, is also. This is your movie. <laughs> I don't know if it's an age thing. It was, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, she's the Yellow Ranger. Oh, okay. The witch. Wait, doesn't the Yellow Asian um, a, a Ranger have to be <laughs> Asian? That was an unfortunate <laughs> misspoken. That's not what phrase. I wanted to say. I want to say, doesn't the Yellow Ranger have to be Asian? Not the Yellow Asian. That's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're all tired. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. I think the Coca Cola is running out. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Naomi Scott was the Pink Ranger. She's great. Becky G was the. Who's Becky G? Yellow Ranger. Oh, so you also don't know who Becky G is? is she Asian. <laughs> She's Hispanic. I wonder if that's culture appropriation. No, I don't think it's. In fact, I think it's better think if the it's, Yellow Ranger is, is an Asian. Yeah. Who's a Black Ranger? Because wasn't the... <laughs> I don't think there is one. Well, it was Zack first. Why isn't there and a he Black was, Ranger? And yes, he was Black. He yeah, was I Black remember American. that. I, and but then he got changed with Adam, who was the second Black Ranger. I like the White... Was it the White Ranger? <laughs> the one that had the... Po no. Who had the ponytail? It was a Red Ranger who ends up becoming the White Ranger. Yeah. No, no, no green, that's not true. It's no, it's green. Tommy. Oh, green? Tommy yeah. becomes the White Ranger. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Red is the leader, Jason. But he's my never favorite, as cool as Tommy. My favorite one was the blue one. Because blue was my favorite color. Man, I can't even remember. I my had favorite this. one was always red except for Tommy. Tommy was just. So I cool. had this action. It was Power Ranger action figure that where you would like press a belt and like their head would go into their stomach yeah uh -huh, and me. then from the back that's that was the, the mighty morphin oh, yeah. line yeah, yeah the, the back uh, the helmet would like there was them in their helmet yeah and i had like the blue one the black one i only had the black one and i, I had them all because i remember when i turned two my for my birthday <laughs> we had we had a power ranger theme mm -hmm. so i had like a whole mess of them yeah and I just, I only... who was the blue one i don't even remember the blue one well, I had the black one because I wasn't into Power Rangers, so I just randomly got like in a gift exchange, like at school, someone gave me the Black Ranger, but it was the second Black Ranger, Adam. So when I would play with my toys, again, like you said, he would change the helmet to the face, so everybody would be like, "Oh, Zach, you saved us," and then he would like take off his helmet and be like, "No, it's me, Adam," and then everybody would beat him up because mm. like <laughs> I had no connection to this white Black Ranger, like I missed the original Black Ranger, which was Zach. So, dang, R.I.P. Yeah. But again, Elizabeth, who's that? Banks. Who's that lady? What? Banks. Banks? Yeah, she's a. Uh... Oh, she directed the movie, right? Yeah, she's the director, and she plays. She the plays villain. a villain, right? Yeah. I didn't know she directed it. Yeah, what's her name? That villain scared me Cru growing Cru up. Cruel, Cruella, the villain. No, that's not it. Um, that villain scared me growing up, man. What's the villain from? Wow, none of us know the villain from Power Rangers, Dan. This you chose this project, also. No, I brought no. I I brought nothing to this. Thing. Okay, I have brought more to the Power Ranger conversation than you, Dan. Okay, there was Zordon. There was Zordon, who's the giant disembodied Rita head. Rita Repulsa. Rita Repulsa. Oh, you looked that up. That was cheating. But but I, I thank you for being the fact checker here. Rita Repulsa. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was fun. I didn't watch it. You didn't watch it? No. Uh, the new okay. one. Yeah, the new yeah, one. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. Just I like the red. It, it I like the red ranger. Like you were saying, Dan? I'm sorry. It just failed. Yeah, like nobody went to go see it. Yeah, I liked uh, Billy from Stranger Things. He was the red ranger. Oh, oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's cool. Right. I didn't know yeah. that. They had, they had a pretty good cast. They I don't even remember this movie. <laughs> see, I just I saw it like at home, like Whiskey I bought like a code 
to redeem it for like three dollars or something. Kimberly in it? Like, it was low stakes. Kimberly for me. made a cameo. She was not. They didn't have the original Power Rangers in it. I feel like they were. I remember. Can't be me watching that. There was a that. weird like moment where it felt like they were doing a Krispy Kreme ad. Was it Krispy Kreme? Ooh. I, uh, wow, I don't. I could go for a Krispy Kreme donut right where now. She like walks in. I could and go for a, <laughs> a donut. Really? <laughs> am I, am I making oh yeah, this I up? forgot. Brian Cranston was Zordon. Oh, that did happen because he was originally a villain on the original show. Bill Hader was the robot assistant. Hmm. Um, oh, I love the guy Bill that goes, ay, ay, ay. Right? That's what's his name? Love Bill Hader. He's, he says, ay, ay, ay. Yeah. That's the only thing I ever remember him saying growing up as a kid. Ay, ay, ay. Every time, like, because for some reason, whenever the monsters attacked Earth, Zordon's house just starts exploding. Like, it's just like sirens. <laughs> like, he doesn't have, like, a subtle emergency system. Like fire alarm? Yeah, pretty much. Fire alarms, yeah. He, the robot's trying to sleep, and he's always awakened. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. <laughs> the more we talk about this, it seems like we liked the Power Ranger movie, even those of us that didn't see it. This sounds great. I just remember the the, the weird ad placement that now I have to find and, and prove to you guys. But. Yeah, just to put it in the show notes. Uh, Link said Krispy Kreme. I would like a burger in between a cut Krispy Kreme donut. Mm. Why are you putting that face, Gabe? A burger in between a donut? Between donuts? Have you not seen this? I've tried it. A burger. Oh, 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 oh. so oh, okay. Enlighten us. <laughs> yes, please King. tell us what that experience is like. I almost died. I want to go to there. Okay, but did you put two donuts or did you cut the donut in half? It was and put two the donuts. No, that's the mistake, though. You see, that's too overindulgent. You need to. Take that's it. too overindulgent. Yeah, yes, because <laughs> uh, no, because no, 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 that makes sense. No, because the Krispy Kreme donut is <laughs> overindulgent. Two Krispy Kreme donuts is too overindulgent. No, I don't think so. Yeah, man. I, it's a, just... I hate a whole box. No, but I'm no, saying, no, but with a burger. Once you add the, gr the you know greasy, like, yeah. it just makes more sense. No, it's like, it's too much bread. It's just having, like, a big bun, like those Fuddruckers buns. You know? Yeah, you the don't bread use is the bun, two, like, right? buns. You split the bun The bun, I'm sorry, the bun is a donut, right? The bun, the bread is the bun, yes. The bun is a donut, right? The bun is the donut, yeah. But you need a thin bun, half a Krispy Kreme donut on each side. Now you need something strong to support the, the bun. The, the burger. <laughs> the, that donut's not going to support that burger no matter what, if, if your burger is good. Where can we get one of these? Where we can, can make them. Oh. Is that what we're doing this weekend? Oh, okay. I'm not sure. This I'm weekend. I got it. No, no, no. That's it. Lunch. Okay. Saturday. So we're doing. <laughs> That's lunch. That, that has to be my only meal or I'll die. For the week. It has to be the only meal for the week. That is true. Yeah. Okay. So. Gabe, what about you? If you could pick a project, what would it be? I hope you know the answer to this. <laughs> oh, um, Star Wars sequels? Uh, yeah, no, the original not, Star not the Wars. Thing. Thing. Not all of it. <laughs> From this, Lucas the ruined thing. a new hope. Um, yeah, bro. Sequels. Uh, yeah, man. Prequels. Trequels. Tequels. Um, the tequels. I've tried so hard not to be this fan for the past couple of years. But Rise of Skywalker broke me. We've talked about this. I don't have to keep trauma double. One day, one day shit. I might. One day we'll do a whole episode. The pain that that film is causing. Anyways, um, I guess more recently be Obi Wan. Um, I mean mm. there were things I liked about Obi Wan, but I think for the most part, I think I had such high expectations for it that I didn't meet them. I wouldn't redo it. I wouldn't even. I would. I would erase it and just not even try. I don't trust them anymore. No, 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 no. I, I would fix. I, I know how to fix. It. I was, okay, I was, okay. Man, you wouldn't try. Oh no, no, no. It's not. It's like this is serious. Like I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, okay. So there's no bit coming. No, no she's okay. give it a Filoni. Make him, make him a show. Okay. Well, I don't make it a show. Make it a movie. I think. Give Filoni, give Filoni a movie, an animated, movie. an animated movie. Oh, okay. I, give me live action. Give me animated. I'd make it a live action. You know what? I actually don't mind that. Because an animated, you can just do so much. I'd Star make Wars it a live is a action lot, movie, and I wouldn't. Star Wars, have in my opinion, is a lot cooler when it's an, when it's animated. Really? He can do just so much. It's better, like than it Empire and Rogue his, One. His favorite is Rogue One. Um, that's why. I, I, like Mando. I think it just looks so cool, like he, them doing all the flips, all the fighting. Just looks Lando? better. Mando. Said Mando. Oh, Mando. It just looks better animated. I was like, "There's a Lando show." We've been talking. I don't think it looks better. I think it allows you to do more. It allows you to, sure, yeah, allows you to I, do more. That's why I like it. Dang, it looks better. It's no, not looks better. I, I, it allows you to do more. I, I actually like it when it's like more grounded and it's not like so many superhero thro uh, heroics. 
I obviously accept it and think it's cool when they do it on the cartoons, but there's always a part of my brain that is like, this is less than but, but a movie. But Jedi's can do that, man. No, Jedi shouldn't be able to do that. That's like prequels. That's only established in the prequels. So I Clone accept Wars. it when it happens Clone in a cartoon. Wars. It happens in Clone Wars. Which is the prequel era. Okay, but the the sequels. What would you change? How much would you keep? How much would you get rid of? Can I say how far I would go? Yeah, absolutely. I would restart from the beginning, from episode seven. Okay. What would you do? I think What's your pitch? Off, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do another Death Star. Okay, first for sure. Of all. all right, let's let's break it down even more. Kylo, Ray, Finn. Do you use them, or do you go yeah. in a completely different direction? I think direction? they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. I think the characters. Okay. Are fine. I I would be ready to throw everyone away except Adam Driver. As Kylo Ren. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I should love it. I should. I should. Boyega. I know. I no no. I agree with you. I love Jumbo John Boyega. But if I have to keep one of them, it'll only be Kylo. Yeah, but you don't have As to keep Adam. one of them. You can keep them all. You can no, get yeah, rid yeah, of them yeah. all. You, would you keep the, the triumvirate of Rey? And, I love Rey. I don't love what they I do think, with her I by think, the end. Yeah, I think I, I don't like what they oh, do. Oh, yeah, Poe, that's right. I don't like Rey. But all I right. think if we can do whatever we want with Rey, then yeah, we can make her lovable. First thing I'm doing is I'm putting Luke, Han, and Leia together. In the first movie. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. It's happening. Yeah, that's right. I Do don't, they die together in the first movie? They, uh, no. I think we can even start eliminating them one by one as they do in the like trilogy. That. But they're together yeah, right they're away. They're together. Who's the first one you get? You lose. Han. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think that was a good... Yeah, I think that was a good, yeah. Story, Han goes story first. Beat. Like, it's I mean, if we're, like, dream booking this, not considering the fact that, like, you know, Leia... Well, I guess she still passes after she passes anyway, so I kind of like Luke. No, I, I kind of like the order as it is. Like, let's say, you know, Carrie Fisher passes away at the same time or whatever. We still do that. Like Han, Luke, and then Leia. I think that was a good order. No, I do Luke last. I, think so. I do Luke last, but not like thematically. Like, the, like, I wouldn't do it thematically. I'd just do it because I love Luke. No, I would do I would do Leia last because I feel like I think Leia works last. She will be able to be highlighted and spotlighted if the other two are gone. I like that. You know? You, she yeah, you're right. I think if if they're together, Luke Luke Leia's would fun. steal the thunder from Leia. Exactly. Yeah, you don't want the fans focusing more on Luke than Leia, not being able to tell a Leia story. You know what? And also, I you think know what? I'd kill Luke first then. I I, I wouldn't I would I'd be kill down Luke, with that. Leia, I wouldn't and then blame we'll, you for that I'll have a, a, a grumpy Han Solo, a depressed grumpy Han Solo. I wouldn't kill any of them. I would kill <laughs> the new three. I wouldn't have divorced Leia and, and Han. I'll, they're they're divorced? They were separated? I mean, sure, they're separated, whatever it is. I, I don't even know if they the, even have... I think they filled out the galactic paper. I mean, yeah, I don't think they filled out the paper. Pads. I mean... You... They weren't together for the kids. <laughs> That's <All> right. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, they, um, those guys did not stay together for the kids. I think I Including just... Including Luke, Kylo. I think you kill uh, the new three, Ray, Poe, and Finn. I'm sorry. And keep the old ones. <laughs> the, the, can, I, can I offer... Rise of uh, Skywalker has Luke rising and Ray dies. Ray, die, Ray, Ray sacrifices Ren, herself to save the past. <laughs> Kylo Ren changes sides at the beginning of the third movie? Yeah. Instead of four or five minutes with one voice line? Mm-hmm. Kylo, Ow. Kylo commits. Kylo goes full bad. Okay, I'm down for. I love Ben I like Solo. Yeah. I think that's awesome. But <laughs> no redemption. Kylo, Kylo goes off the rails. There's, bro. there's only two ways. Like he goes like on a massive murder streak where there's no coming back, or you don't do the kind of things he did where he like commits genocide. Like he so kills. You, you like make he. Him like, go ahead. You make him like Vader without the re redemption. Like he That's kills. Yeah. Luke. Like he that. kills, well, yeah, yeah. Like he just murders. He everyone. can't kill Han. I think he can't commit patricide. He can't commit genocide with the with the Star Killer base. You know, if he does any of those things, you can't kill Han Solo and be redeemed. Yeah, he's man. irredeemable, especially if you're a son. Like you can kill your dad and then be like, "Oh, I'm sorry." And then Daddy Spirit is like, "It's it's good. It's all good." 
I knew you didn't mean it. Leia <laughs> gaslit him. Um, yeah, you're either a maniacal evil man. Because if you think about it, Vader doesn't have Vader did a bunch of bad stuff. Clearly, especially like if we include the prequels with the younglings. The yeah, but if we're just in the in the original like, trilogy, like he's not the guy with his finger on the button. You know, he's not the one blowing up planets. He's just letting it happen, which is complicated. But uh, he's not the big bad. Like, Kylo's the big bad. Like, I would have made him the big bad. I think that like, was a good I think choice. It was a smart, I think it was a good choice. I like the choices they made for with him killing Snoke. I know people were upset about that, but... Yeah, but then, I would get rid of Snoke from the beginning, though. No Snoke. Yeah. He's the big bad from the beginning and throughout the whole trilogy. No, I, think, I think I would have Snoke in the beginning. To- Snooki? 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 You'd have Snooki as the villain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have, CGI Snoke. I'd have Snook in the beginning as the big bad, <laughs> yeah. but then at the end... Kylo's the one that like at the end of, when when would you kill Snook Snooky? Uh, somewhere like towards <laughs> the end of the first movie, to okay. make, to, est- like to establish okay, guess, yeah. to establish Kylo as the real. Okay, yeah, where he like he doesn't play well, just like like Snook is trying to manipulate him, and then you realize, yeah, no, uh, I'm not my grandfather. I'm better than him. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, that's fair. A bigger part for Poe, I think Oscar Isaac is underserved. Does he end up with Ray? Yeah. I think that I think they get together. Man, is it bad? I don't want Finn and, was supposed to anybody to go with him. I don't want anybody together, yeah. That's fine. That's perfectly fine too. I got you. I, I got you. Pick one, but I put I, I put Poe with Ray. Nah, man, I put Poe with Leia. Because <laughs> that's what Isaac Oscar Isaac would like. I p- would put Finn with Rose. I would, no, put more, I would put. I'd more. put Finn with Leia's daughter. I wouldn't kill Rose's sister right away. She, she was, was cool. kind of cool. I would have killed the other girl, uh, like the the pilot, the pilot chick that dies when they get ambushed. Oh, uh, Rose's sister? No, no. <laughs> we just talked about Rose's sister. I forgot what her Ooh. name was. She was cool. She dies at the beginning uh, in the Last Jedi when the when the hangar gets attacked, blown up. She's like one of the bombers. No. I got. I gotta rewatch that. Well, maybe I don't. Hey, question. Last Jedi. Was that sure. that in the first in 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 what was the name of the first one? Force Awakens. The, the Force, Force Awakens. Awakens. What's the deal with the weird looking alien, the old one that has Luke's? Like Maz Kanata. Yeah, they don't. They don't go back to that. She's right behind you. They yeah, she up. she's like in a hologram <laughs> in Last Jedi, and she gives him the tip <clears throat> to go to the casino planet. Um, hey, that's what they use her for. Canto bite. Canto bite. That's what they use her for, cause like they felt Wait, like she they wasn't had even to. in the third one, was she? No, she's not in the third oh one. Oh my, what a bro! You know what? Let's. What do you, I don't even want to talk do about with Star. Phasma. What do you do with Phasma? Like I an, feel like a mid boss. Yeah, like you give her more screen time. I wouldn't have locked her in the trash compartment in the first movie. Oh, I would. That was a big mistake. I would have made the big fight in Last Jedi a little longer, which it is in the deleted scenes, and it's actually kind of good. Right, but she survives it, and then she's unmasked in the third movie, and she's the mid boss for the finale. Like her story wraps in the trilogy. She gets a role. She gets FaceTime. She and gets. She kills. Finn. She gets cool moments. You know, she should have been the Boba Fett of the new trilogy. Mm. But actually, well, more but than actually Boba been more doing than cool Boba stuff. Fett. Yeah, she had the cool suit. Yeah, but works. our expectation she, is she, she has to actually Boba be Fett. cool. She works for Bot Kylo, except yeah. without the cool factor. Exactly, she did both. No, I think oh, I think when you see that like chrome armor it's that special. she has, it's special. Yeah, you're like, this is a cool character. But now in this day and age, your expectation is like she's got to do more than Boba Fett. Did. Yeah, we're not just gonna accept that like she doesn't do anything. Man. We're not we're not talking about Rise, right? We're not gonna talk about Rise because I'm not touching Palpatine with a ten foot pole. What do we what I hope you're not touching Palpatine with a pole. <laughs> oh. No, we're not talking about it. We'd be here all day. I also thought you meant Rise of the Resistance, and I was like, why would you rewrite the Hollywood Studios ride? <laughs> that ride is perfect. <laughs> okay, to me, you are um, perfect. Obi Wan. Obi Wan movie. I wouldn't put Anakin in the main plot. Qui Gon comes sooner. Is it weird that you said Anakin and I thought no that, Leia that little kid from no, episode one was in it? No Leia and Luke. <laughs> no Leia oh, and definitely Luke. Definitely no Leia. No Leia. In hindsight, no Leia. No Leia. Episode one, I was like, oh, I'm here for the like, like I'm I'm open. 
But in hindsight, not forget no it. Just no sub. That's Leia. Like, no subplots. Luke, maybe, like in the background. Yeah, I can understand that. But, yeah, in the background, which is what I thought. Like, you start off with him, like, his. Dude, you know, we've seen this story. They do it in the comics and yeah. in the books and stuff. But yeah, he's just kind of there. They in, had it. They had it, man. They in had resistance. it. They had it. I mean, I'm sorry. R- Rebels. Why did I just say resistance? Okay. So we get it. We hate the sequels. We do some snip up. <laughs> they had they had a lot of the bones. Like it was fine. It's just some really big missteps. You know what? Getting Oscar Isaac in Star Wars was nice. It was nice. That guy. Wish you would have done more. I wish, I wish you could have. Oh, man, can you was... imagine if he was like an Andor or something? Not like Poe. I mean, like Oscar Isaac as an actor, as a character, like in Andor. Yeah. I feel like he would fit right in. Yeah, that would be actually okay. So crazy idea. Would the sequels have worked better as ser- as series? What if no. they was had like, no? Okay. I mean, you could say that in retrospect, but at the time, no, 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 no I know. But let's say they never made them, right? And now yeah. Disney Plus is like, we're gonna with the make way that they went with them sequel. No, not the way that they went for them. Like, like let's they say, just get this treatment. Yeah, like let's say Oscar Isaac leads a series just about his character, and then like, let's say they all get prequels. Like we get to know Poe before force awakens oh you know what when you put it that yeah. way we get to know like finn it. as a stormtrooper like who's struggling like with his identity of being a stormtrooper and his past as long as they can, we like, get ray just like as a junker as long as they can and it um, leads to the trilogy as long as they can tie like, that stuff in and actually stick to ideas that they do what'd you say like i, I don't know i just pop myself because i i think this would be kind of cool like if we went into force awakens and we already knew all three of them in isolation that would be cool. Cause if that would be awesome. It seems like their life before was kind of cool and, and all unique. Mm, Ray's life kind of It's just, boring. just like, with like the, what? Nah, fighting sand people in the desert. Like, uh, uh, being, like can you call them that? Struggling. Oh, you're Do right. they have sand? I apologize. But they, don't have, the Tuscan, <laughs> they don't have Tusken Raiders in Jakku. Why does everybody want to go back to Jakku? What is their official name? T- t- native Tuscan <laughs> people? People's native the, the Washington peoples. football team. I apologize. <laughs> uh, commanders. That's commanders. A, that's such. A is that their new name? Stupid name. Yeah. The yeah. Commanders. I mean, it's better than Washington football team. I mean, that's true. <laughs> is it? Yes, man. That was uh, uh, that was horrific. It's just commanders. Is it's too long. Commander. There must be sixteen like NFL teams that are just as long. Commanders is three syllables, dude. The commanders. Patriots. The Patriots. Uh, Tua Tago by Okay, no, the Jaguars is too. Tua's actually a short version of his name. It's really long. Tua Loga? Tua Longa? Yeah, it's like, I don't know. Can't yeah, I wrote it out in Fortnite on my Dolphins player skin. So it's pretty long. And then I re edited it to just say Tua. What would I do? Hmm. Transformers. I would read the Transformers. Like That's the so much one? potential. First After the second. I think the first one's perfect. I like the After the second one, one I tried If to I have to get it. rid of the first one in order to reboot the whole series in a different direction, because it's... But I did like the first one. But like the, the first okay. one is kind of like the foundation for what goes wrong. Very, very wrong. Bumblebee very made quickly. it all worth it. Yeah, how would you feel about Bumblebee? I liked Bumblebee. I liked Bumblebee. Although there's parts that were bad, specifically the John parts Cena. that have John Cena in them, yeah. <laughs> I forgot he was in it. Yeah. The Cybertron stuff is awesome. The cyber I want a whole movie of that. And you know what? Yeah, that's why I say, you know what? You just you you just convinced me. That's the pitch. Cyber the I'm battle cool for Cybertron. That. That's where the series starts. No humans. No humans. They can come to Earth in a sequel series. Yeah, I don't really need humans in Transformers. Boom. A trilogy of Cybertron, Battle for Cybertron. You need Haley Stanfield. And then we get Shia She's, LaBeouf. No, we don't get Shia LaBeouf. We get Haley Stanfield. Okay. Oh, we do Bumblebee first. I like Shia LaBeouf. It's the 80s. Haley Steinfeld. It's Shia LaBeouf's mom. How about we do this? We do. <laughs> it's, a, it's a chronology series. So like Haley Steinfeld in the first movie. Shia LaBeouf in the second movie. Not Mark Wahlberg in the third movie. We, uh, we, get, Matt, we get Matt Damon in the third movie. The better one. Yeah. And it's like a Born Ultimatum style. Style film. <laughs> That's it. We we cracked it. We did crack it. Yep. A trilogy of Cyber War for Cybertron. Song. And then a trilogy. And then if, we, if we're if we already seven movies in, 
we do a prequel and we do Beast Wars, a trilogy of Beast Wars Ooh. movies. We do it right. Bro. Nice. What was that? Four? Three? Five? That, that man, four. I haven't seen past four. You watched four? Four is the one where like Wait. the dinosaur's in the mountain and he that's punches the, and he's okay, like, you work one, for me yeah, now. That's the one where like I saw part of it and I'm like, please stop. I that's can't. Wahlberg where he's a scientist. He invented- Mark Wahlberg <laughs> is a scientist? <laughs> yeah. He's an inventor. Yeah, he I invents things. I can't take that seriously. I'm paraphrasing. I don't know the exact, I don't remember the exact line, but it's something along the lines of like, I'm an inventor. I the, invent things. Mark Wahlberg can do anything. <laughs> Except being a scientist. TJ, the crazy guy, the guy from Deadpool 2 and Silicon Valley, what's his name? TJ Miller? Mm-hmm. He is in it. He is a vapor. I don't remember that. He is vaporized in the first 15 minutes of the movie. He's like Mark Wahlberg's like, like screw up buddy. He's literally incinerated into ash. <laughs> they move on and they forget all about him. Mm. I thought you said, I thought, I thought you were going to say he just vapes in the movie. That's how they He's, canceled yeah. him. <laughs> That's that that is how they canceled them. But that's a story for um, another day. That one was fast. Who directed uh Bumblebee? Not Michael Bay. Fact checker. Fact do the fact checker here. I'm gonna say it was Tina Fey. Do you have any guesses, Link? <laughs> I wouldn't say Tina Fey. Back to my <laughs> It's just a joke, Link. Travis Knight. Travis Knight. That's a cool name. Travis Knight. Travis Scott. That is, that is Travis cool Scott name. directed. Travis Knight, but like the... Knight with like with a K. Yeah, That's yeah. Pretty Sick. cool name. What has he done? Cool. I mean, either Knight would be a cool name. That's a he, superhero name. Lead animator for the stop motion animation studio Leica. Leica. Oh, Leica. Leica. They do good studio. work. Yeah. Yeah. He directed the films Cubo and the Two Strings. Oh, that movie. Cubo was good. Oh. Cuba did well, right? You know, that movie was like critically well, acclaimed. But no. Everyone told me it was amazing. Maybe they overhyped it to me because once I eventually saw it, I was like, this is a good movie, but I don't like, I don't love ah, it. He produced The Missing Link. Ah, I wanted to watch that movie. Oh. You haven't seen that? Oh, with, with, uh, it was nice. My wife took Hugh my Jackman. niece to watch it. They said it was really funny. It was nice. It was I nice, it. yeah. I wanted to watch Hugh that. Jackman? Yeah, Hugh Jackman. Exactly. Huge Jackman. Yeah. Cuba was a really good movie, though. The artistry more than anything. It took forever to make. Mm. It's, it's stop motion, stop right? Motion. Yeah. Yeah. They said it should have won the Oscar. It did it? It did it. It did it. It did it. I don't agree though. I forgot who it lost to, but probably some Pixar did. It was probably a Pixar movie. You wanna look that up? Cubo? Who did Cubo lose to? No, you're looking something else up. It's okay. Cubo. All right. I think we got two more projects. I think you guys wrote down Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> I wouldn't touch it. Dan, why are you smirking? <laughs> you just gotta give the anime a second chance, right? You gotta redo it. Yeah, just follow. Retirement. Just follow the script. I don't understand this. I don't understand this about adaptations. Just follow the source material. Yeah. Like, num- a, it's good. B, if you're adapting, you're aiming at the fandom already. They like what they like about it. They want to see it redone. Like, it's very confusing to me because, like, Zootopia. I, mean, one. I guess. The the example I'll use is Death Note. I guess that'll be my my second chance. Oh, like, we, that's a good Death one. Note. I love that movie. Works. I love it. It was I great. I'm just kidding. I haven't it. seen it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I will though. In theory, the story is like you could easily do it. Well, I'm sorry, you don't know about this. There's a Death Note live action movie produced by Netflix. Yeah, Zack and Cody is Death Note. No. I thought you said Zack and Miri, and I was like, the, uh, yeah, that's the not. The Naked Make Wolf a... Brothers. Or... Oh, yeah, Naked Brother Band is. Uh, Nat Wolf? Is, uh... Yeah, Nat Wolf. They had a song in Rock Band. That's the only thing I know about the Naked Brothers Band. I thought they were a Will band that Defoe. didn't wear clothes. Oh, Will and Defoe was, was Ryu. Yeah. That's actually. Which is a that's, wasted. Wait, that's yeah, a, what? That's a yeah. good, Wait, that's when a did good this come Ryu, out? bro. What? This was like, I don't know, during the pandemic? Right before the pandemic? And it sucked, I'm assuming? Yeah, it was terrible. It's like. Oh, it was so, so bad. Who was Light? Light? Well, Light was Net Wolf or one of the Wolf Brothers. You, L was, um, what is his name? The guy from Atlanta? Paperboy? Uh, no, Lakeith? No. Um, yes. Keith Stanton. And you. Donald Glover. <laughs> no, <laughs> we got the right answer, and I keep going. Um, Zazzy Beats. Yeah, isn't it like in theory? Wouldn't that story be easy to do in live action? Like, why'd you stray away and just like make it a completely different story? Yeah, I haven't seen Death Note, but I've heard the the cliff notes. Okay. 
and like it's it's pretty i guess yeah Wait, it, it seems show? like a layup yeah, like, did they make a show or a movie yeah. No, a movie. That's movie. that's the other thing. Why was it a movie? That's kind of yeah. Uh, it's kind of too long, yeah. And if it's just one, at least it has to be more than one. Yeah. Well, after the first I one, you ain't gonna make another one. Do they do the thing where they have like a a second the other person figure out what's going on? Dude, I don't even remember. I destroyed it from my memory. I gotta watch it. I'm, I'm glad that Link, I'm glad that Link spoils like almost every show, but like he's respectful of this show. Is like what, like ten years old or something? Death Note's great. Yeah, I have to watch it. You guys said it's short, right? Six, thirty-seven. Yeah, it's like thirty-seven episodes. So it's like one 35? season, basically. Yeah, so it could be a show like seven episode, one hour episodes, like I don't know, whatever. It's um, funny how Cowboy Bebop, getting back to that topic is like perfectly formatted to be a show and like because you could even stretch it out the way they kind of did mm -hmm. but then they choose to just change entire plot points it just i i mean i guess one last note on the death note thing mm -hmm. it is getting a second chance one last death duffer note brother, oh the, the duffer, duffer brothers brother. touching it. Oh. yeah uh, so they're just gonna so they're gonna reboot it like just yeah i have hope Hey, there's our second chance right there. Yeah, they're gonna make it yeah, in their in chance. their new studio, right? Yeah, the upside down studio, whatever. Bro, I hope that they built that studio like genuinely upside down. <laughs> just took over the Ripley's. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> upside down house. yeah, they bought a Ripley's, believe it or not, and just start recording, filming there. Um, all right, that sounds cool. Okay, so I have a little while to watch all of Death Note, watch the terrible movie in anticipation for what is hopefully a good reboot by the Duffer brothers who are now back in our good graces. They were never gone, but we really liked uh, the last season of Stranger Things. So kind of have faith they're going to bring it home. Yeah. So Cowboy Bebop summary, just do the show again. Just do the animated show. No. Just follow the script. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't touch it. You wouldn't do it? I think it's perfect. I think it's the perfect show to adapt. I think it's so easy. Nah, wouldn't I, would, do it. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Don't touch art. You don't mess. Yeah, you're saying that now because you have to watch Cowboy Bebop, though. <laughs> okay, Dreamcast it. They're making it. They're going to follow the script. It's your only chance. There, There's no way around it. Who's Spike? The guy Keanu from Reeves. Warrior. Shoji? Shoji Kojima? Keanu Reeves. Why do I love both answers? They're so different. A young Keanu Reeves. <laughs> They're both perfect. Storm Shadow or... John Wick. John, John Wick. Wick. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, Neo, but and then I just blanked out. I was like, Yeah, man. Nah, bro. Shoji, Shoji Kojima could be. Uh, he can be Spike, Spike, and then Keanu can be vicious. No, Keanu Reeves is not. Just... Who would be vicious? Javier Bardem. <gasps> and you don't want to make this show? I'd make it. Why can't Keanu be vicious? He'd be like, yeah, he's <laughs> Spike. He, he's a perfect be Spike like, because Spike isn't. Uh, he'd be like Spike. I am an FBI agent. Why does he sound like? Spike. I don't know why he sounds like Dusty Rhodes. I think he, <laughs> for Keanu, I think his acting is it wouldn't be. I am an FBI agent. It should be John Wick with a little bit more talking. No, but Spike. Spike has quit. Spike has that. Keanu doesn't have that. Yeah, you can see he has it. No, he doesn't. He does. No, we no, doesn't. Listen, listen, Keanu's like this weird dream cast from just like his looks and his laid back laziness. Yeah. As me growing up, I was like Keanu. Then like they cast an Asian in the role and I was like, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. No, if so it's going to be vicious, if it's going to be someone it's going to be vicious, vicious doesn't have like as many emotions as Spike to, to portray. But can he show. be broody and like. Yeah, yeah. Can so Keanu Reeves be broody? In the sense of like foreboding like dark emo emo keanu reeves who's dark emo keanu reeves? this guy's the happiest guy on earth man. constantine what constantine, constantine. that's your defense oh my goodness i can't believe that's getting a second chance constantine the worst constantine adaptation uh, but isn't isn't john wick dark and brooding i, I don't understand and foreboding now, i think he's kind of like lighthearted. Oh, I, I thank you danny <laughs> we're Are talking kind of he's, not he, he's not he's vicious he's not sinister he's not, yeah no he's like you think you think keanu reeves is more spike than vicious yeah i didn't say, oh, what I planet? Didn't say that i didn't say all, that we're talking about john wick like he's literally going crazy for a puppy yeah 
How is that vicious? But it's about so much more. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? In what part is John is John Wick sarcastic? What part does he even smile? Neo, Bill and Ted. That's my Bill Keanu. And Ted, Bill and I'm Ted. sorry, that's yeah. the Keanu I grew up. You were with. talking about, you know. I, listen, I know this generation loves John Wick. I love John Wick, but like that's not that role doesn't define Keanu Reeves for but me. But that's like, the one he's giving he me to defend his it. argument. <laughs> No, but I can also see how like yeah, I think he he's good. a vicious assassin who I do think he's sarcastic. John Wick is sarcastic. Keanu's just not that great of an actor. I sp- I'm sorry, it's Andrew Koji, not Soji Koji. You don't even have to write actor. Your argument's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Conflict. <laughs> Resolution. All right. So so maybe one of those two guys. Did we cast Vicious? It's vicious? Andrew Koji. Okay, That's Andrew. Spike. <laughs> Who's uh who's vicious then? I mean, and he, he already said knows how to them. fight because of Warrior. So does Keanu. Yeah, because so of every movie ever. In, yeah, Bill and Ted. She, exactly. So I feel like the, Walk the in the warrior, clouds. He learned how to fight. Speed. Combat. He learned how to drive. The the lake house. He learned how to send a letter. <laughs> wow, you actually know what the lake house is? I have no idea. <laughs> that. What do you mean you have no idea? That is exactly. Oh yeah, what yeah. It is. I, should, I should know that. Like yeah, like you. Yeah, that's the only thing I know. Yeah, yeah, like, I you put the letter in, and then you get it in the future or whatever. Yeah. Um, what other Keanu Reeves movies did he learn how to fight? That's it. That's the extent of our Keanu Reeves Point movie break. knowledge. It feels great. Um, okay. Get heavier your one day, man. It's vicious. I okay, I can see that one. <laughs> Who's Jet? Who's Jet? Uh dead air time. You know. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, we're on video. I now. was thinking. No real I was thinking. Just do wacky faces. I think Hugh Jackman could be a good jet. <laughs> okay, we're done with Cowboy <laughs> Bebop. <laughs> Moving on. I think he he has a height. He has like the, the physique. Okay. Um, he can play a more serious tone. You get me? It has, it has to be someone a little bit older. <laughs> Are there any gray actors that could? I was also that thinking of I role. was also thinking of Brian Cranston, but I think he's not doesn't fit the the physique of Jet. Yeah, um, that's why I thought maybe Hugh Jackman. How about the guy that plays I mean, uh, isn't, Gordon isn't Brian and uh, J. Jonah Jameson? Jeffrey no. Wright. That's not Jeffrey. What he plays <laughs> J. Jonah Jameson, Jeffrey Wright. Oh, I, think so. I just said heard Gordon. Oh, okay. No, before that, J. K. Simmons. J. K. Simmons. J. K. Simmons. Mm. Is he kind of gray? He's bald. He's kind of gray. He's jacked. He's grumpy. Kind of has a grumpy. Interesting voice. <laughs> Whiplash. Yeah. Who's, Just J.K. Simmons in Whiplash as Jet. Who's Faye? Because he he's looks good in that movie. Yeah. Who's Faye? Zendaya. Faye Val. Bro, you're just casting. We're just casting Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Holland is Jet. I mean, as Spike. Tom Holland is Spike. Zendaya is Faye. Will they? Won't they? No, Tom Holland as Vicious. Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I kind of want that now. <laughs> Julia. Who's Julia? Becky G. Was that the name? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know who Julia that is. Julia has to be someone. I'm not saying it's going to be her. It's her, but someone like, uh, <laughs> like, um, she has, in my mind, Julia the anticipation has like the presence of Galadriel, <laughs> like the beauty of Galadriel, but it's not, it's not, um, Kate. It's not Kate wins. No, yeah. just kidding. Blanchett. Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. It's Blanchett. not Kate, Blan- Kate Blanchett, but she has that. someone with a, an air of Kate Blanchett. Kate. How about that? Uh, how about the one that played Hela in, uh, Thor? Ragnarok. No, not her. Not her. <laughs> okay. He doesn't. What about that the lady from the uh the Woody Allen movie Blue Jasmine? Nah, she wasn't too. She wasn't. Nah. She wasn't blue enough. How about the Russian from Indiana Jones and the um Kingdom Wait, of the Crystal we, Skull? Who do we say was fake? <laughs> oh, we I said Zendaya, but yeah, we didn't really agree on that one. Hmm, Faye. Faye. Dead air. <laughs> Naomi Scott? Ooh. No. No, you don't think so? 
Why is that? I'm a She's big fan not. of Naomi Scott. I'd give her all the work. She's not. <laughs> I want to say seductive enough. I'm sorry. I don't know. She's oh, cause you. It's called acting, though, man. Like, I don't know. I just don't see her seductive enough. Uh, I know. I you know, know they gotta like. They gotta, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just don't. I don't see it. <laughs> she just has to be like <laughs> in real life, constantly seductive in order to get yeah. the Faye Ooh, Valentine role. Be. Scarlett Johansson. I was gonna say Lucy Lou. Scarlett Johansson. A young Lucy Lou. A young Lucy Lou. We're time traveling now for the cast. Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou would be good. Oh, like bro, what are you talking about? Today, Lucy Lou is Karen? almost exactly the same thing yeah, as young exactly. Lucy yeah, Lou. Yeah, you Tomorrow? could still get this. Yeah, Lucy Lou today is exactly like enough. young Lucy Lou. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. The girl I, from the boys. Karen Fukuhara. Devin Aoki. Is she not the girl from the boys? Is Devin Aoki not in the boys? Who's Devin Aoki? Steve Aoki's sister. That's a really famous family, huh? The, yeah, the girl from Sin City. Is that that's not her? Oh, I know you're talking about. No, that's not her. What was the last thing she was in? Because I saw her in something recently. Because I know she had like not stopped acting, I believe, to raise a family, and then I had seen her in something recently. Don't know. Okay. Someone put that's Batista fine. as Jet. I like that one. That's like the, the girl from. Oh, I could see Batista as Jet. I can see a Batista. That's actually be a pretty good one. Yeah. Okay, I think we've exhausted. We'll Megan Fox's. <laughs> I think Megan Fox the has the 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 aura of Faye, but mm, I don't know. <laughs> She's got the vibe. The vibe, yeah. yeah. I see this, but I don't. Your dream casting on vibe. Oh, what's her name? <laughs> uh, Please girl, don't be a casting the director. The girl from uh, Dragon, I, uh, Dragon uh, Iron Fist. Ooh, that's good. That's yeah. I just don't remember her name. I hope she comes back. She plays, what's her character's name? Not Karen. <laughs> She's the only reason I watched I the show. I immediately thought Karen. It's not Karen. She's one of the Definitely sisters of the dragon, right? Is that their name? <sighs> Something like that. She's okay. the white tiger or something like that? Yeah, well, this isn't about Iron Fist, so <laughs> let's move on to our last one. And this is, you guys you are kind of the experts here. Too? We're going to wrap up with this one. Avatar, The Last Airbender, the movie, which I guess is not called Avatar, The Last Airbender. It was just called The Last Airbender, but first of all, we get the name, yeah. okay? In this reboot, people can tell the difference between the blue people and the airbenders, okay? Mm-hmm. So Avatar, The Last Airbender, the movie. Did it not have the subtitle of The Last Airbender? No, it was just called The Last Airbender. They weren't allowed to call it Avatar. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I we get the full name. Mm-hmm. And we add the movie, too. <laughs> no, because it's... I, I want... No, I want it to be called Avatar, no, The Last it... Airbender, the movie. All right. now, Make I want, it longer. I want it to be called Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Or Street Fighter, the movie, the game, the movie. Mm. <laughs> that was for Sega yeah, Saturn. What would you do about this one? What would I do? Yeah. Complete opposite of whatever M. Night did. Yeah, seriously. You know, this is the only... I, I don't know, if, fix, I've, I don't know if I've seen the movie to completion. Are you ready? This is the only Last Airbender I've seen, this movie. That's a Why, bad... And just part. remember, keep on searching. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're no, we're not rapping yet. No, stop. Don't walk away. Why? Don't put your headphones. No, it's not my fault. <laughs> Listen, me and my wife have this tradition that we still uphold to this day for reasons that escape me entirely. If they make a new Resident Evil movie, we watch it. If M. Night Shyamalan makes a new movie, we watch it. We don't even watch horror, but we watch whatever that Anderson guy who makes. So it's. Paul W. Anderson? Resident I think you Evil need W.S. Anderson. I think you need Night multiple Shyamalan? second chances to rethink those decisions. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm going to get to Airbender, okay? <laughs> Let me get through Naruto. I'm going to get to Airbender, okay? You have great... Danny, what do you like more, Naruto or Avatar? Naruto. I have a better bond with it. But what do you like better, Boruto or The Last Airbender not movie? Even, that's not even a real question. Oh, that's a real question. <laughs> <laughs> 
neither. I would nuke both of them. Nope, no, you have to watch one right now as soon as the show is over. I guess I'm watching Boruto. Okay. Um, what? Okay, what movie would you choose to watch Avatar: The Last Airbender the movie instead of? I don't think. Man, like half of the other M Night Shyamalan movies, <laughs> I just watched old. My goodness, was that atrocious? Mm. I don't know. If I've talked about that year. Is it really that bad? Yes. Yeah, it made no sense. Can and by you, the end, I was wait, like, "What did I just watch? What was it?" Okay. Spoilers. What was what was the what was the twist? There's a plot twist. The twist is that it was a clinical trial for a pharmaceutical company. I'm sorry if you were gonna watch old, but boom, That's I just saved twist? you two hours. How? But they're in an island. Yeah, they invite people on vacation, and then they take them to this island, and they test like a new drug, uh, and everybody just keeps dying until they find like the one that where like they don't die. That's a horrible twist. Mm. I would have preferred just like a supernatural beach. Nope. Okay. That's like what the that's the premise of the movie. Like you think it's a supernatural beach. But then but, they gotta make mm, it real. Mm. Make any sense. <laughs> and then they gotta ground it. Ooh. Yeah. It was crazy. Also the movie made no sense. Anyways. Um I would rather watch Last Airbender than Dragon Ball Evolution, the movie. Ooh. That's my that's, that's my oh, last that airbender. Sucks. That's my airbender. Because mm. I was so invested. You've seen that, right? That's Oof. one thing I respect about Link. He doesn't occupy his time with... Yeah, Ooh, would you he saw Last watch... Airbender. Nah, he he I, I haven't seen the whole thing. I've only seen part of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Last Airbender or Morbius? Uh, I think I might Morbius. watch... Morbius is shorter. Yeah, I think I might watch Morbius yeah. again in my lifetime. I actually agree. Well, Morbius? Matt, Matt Smith is in and he dances. That's yeah, like... that scene's awesome. <laughs> Plus, that girl from Andor's in it, too. We didn't know, though, because... Oh, you've been like, I have to go back to that time? I don't know now, because I was pretty scared that I was left there by myself. <laughs> no, so Morbius is number one on our watch list, and I believe that one day we will hit play and my wife will watch Morbius because she hasn't seen it. So. How would you do that to her? Love, love's weird. Mm. Yeah. It's a delicate thing. Blink, will you ever watch it? I don't know. I gotta be in the mood. Something bad. <laughs> well, we have like this like fictional mini marathon that we're gonna watch with our friend Link. That we're supposed to watch like Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, and Green Lantern, the extended cut. I think there's one more terrible movie. You're telling me about this? Yeah. That I don't know about. We're supposed to watch this with Lou. I don't know about this. You don't know about this? No. Oh, maybe it was with my brother then. Yeah, we're gonna trick you. You're gonna end up. You okay? I'm telling you now, so that when that first movie rolls, you know what's happening. No, like you know. No, no, no. I disagree. (laughs) I'm not even gonna. No. You gotta avoid hanging out with us ever. Yeah, Yeah, like never that combination of people. You walk into the room and the three of us, me, my brother, and Lou are there. I'm walking away. Yeah, just walking away. Don't even say hi or anything. No, yeah, yeah. I know what's happening. It's gonna. It's gonna. No. Yeah. Can't do this to myself. I have well, self respect. <laughs> Thank you for saying that we don't have self respect. <laughs> you don't. Okay. It was you, rough. You put garbage into your mind. <laughs> My mind is a temple. Danny, I only need you to play things. that TikTok that, that Link was no, repeating over and that. over again <laughs> to all of us for hours. One hour. I was only here for an hour. It was like thirty minutes. It was it, it was like it was about an hour. That was an hour. Me. Yeah, yeah was like thirty hour. minutes. It was an hour for me. It was thirty minutes for Gabe. It, it was, was like, an hour. It was like five minutes for Danny. He was gonna quit the show. Uh, All right, oh, Airbender. But those two reasons aren't co- don't correlate. He was gonna quit the show. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Last call. Everyone was uh, roasting me. So. Last call at the bar. Airbender. How do you fix it? It's how you fix it, man. First of all, take out M Night out of it. There is no plot twist in this in the show. Is there a plot twist in the movie? There shouldn't be. Yeah, it's a clinical <laughs> I actually trial. don't know. Oh, a clinical trial that gave the avatars powers. <laughs> there is no plot twist. You don't need him anywhere near. That's you get me. If he does well in plot twist, why are you gonna give him a plot twist if everyone knows how the show is gonna end, right? Second of all, you cast Jesse McCartney as Aang. No, <laughs> no. You go, you go, you go for, or you know, you get everyone from there. If you Airbenders, you get people from Tibet. You you get a. Uh, Waterbenders, you get people from water. 
in the northern tribes. I'm sorry. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You get North Koreans? Is that what you were <laughs> going to say? You get Eskimos. Wait, Eskimos. I don't don't know. worry. They're not like, listening. Eskimos, I guarantee it. No, no. You get Eskimos. Eskimos like, aren't, like, I just don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah. They don't. Anymore? Yeah, that's not. Yeah. That's we why don't I, call them that. Exa- that's why I said I don't know what to say. So I said Eskimos, but correct me. You mean like Alaskan native people? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not educated enough to know okay. what the proper so, term would be. But that's like that's, that's just like I a clinical use. explanation yeah. there. Fire the Nation, people Japanese people. Earthbenders, Chinese people. <laughs> you go that route. Okay. And you already, you already make it more authentic. Uh, Are you kind of making it like a race war kind of thing though? Or? That's what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Everything was. I don't good. think you have to do that. You're gonna give. You're gonna make. Them, <laughs> you're gonna put white people in this movie. No, no but I don't think like you that. have to be Chinese to be in this. Like, oh no, that's how, if you want to be. That's how I would see because that's how I interpret it. Each nation. <laughs> okay. I don't think. I don't know. I don't think that's a great idea. That's literally what you're doing with the Netflix reboot. Am I wrong? <sighs> I have to look at the cast, but it's not like that's what they're doing. <laughs> wait, wait! You tell me on a Netflix reboot, they have only people from Alaska as the no. They have they, the they have only Asian people okay. in it. Um, but that's I wouldn't no no I wouldn't make I wouldn't say only Asian people can I mean only Alaska people from Alaska Eskimos can because Jesse McCartney no it has would rep it would represent them. You get me? Oh, it'd be people from. The north and southern tribe of the world. Um, you guys all understand what I'm saying when I'm saying Jesse McCartney, right? No, no. No? Was you guys weren't around? For the, there was like huge rumors and speculation that he was going to be Aang in M. Night's movie. Mm. And it was like this whole thing. And I don't, I don't know if it was ever real or not, but... I wish it was. It was like they were going to get uh, Julia Roberts to be Harriet Tubman. You, you guys don't know about this? <laughs> is that a true thing? Is that real? Yeah, that's real. A producer, like, suggested like, Julia Roberts when they started making like the Harriet Tubman movie. a bit from Atlanta. That's what that sounds like. That sounds like, like a bit from Atlanta. <laughs> I want them to make a movie about the Harriet Tubman movie that this producer wanted to make with Julia Roberts as Harriet Tubman. That's what I want. You know what? Forget this Avatar reboot. <laughs> Give me this movie. <laughs> a second chance at not at Harriet Tubman, but at, at the, the situation. Movie. Yes. Yeah. At the, at the, the, the process of making you know the Harriet Tubman movie. Kurt Give it to Atlanta creators. I'll do that too. Oh, it'd be wonderful. All right. And that's our reboot of Avatar: The Last Airbender. <laughs> I the behind-the-scenes making I of Harriet I wouldn't, Tubman. I wouldn't uh, make a movie of avatar okay since that's they fair. made it like all right i don't because i honestly think the show is perfect i wouldn't touch it if you're gonna touch the show is I it would, your favorite anime it's one of my it's my favorite one of my favorite animated shows yeah um i would top, i would top 10 anime animated shows uh yeah top five animated my so top five of all animes that you've seen animated shows yeah okay um i would I would expand the universe. Like I wouldn't continue with the same story because you know what happens there. I would probably make a, a not pre- me. I'd do a prequel on uh, Avatar Roku. That'd be great. I think that'd be pretty cool. And you do it on Roku. On, no, no. On the Roku on, channel. No, you do it on up on Paramount. Oh. Uh. So yeah, I would. I would. I would do a sequel, a prequel about Avatar Roku, just about his life, and at the end. It's he dies, and then bam, Aang is born. Is that the twist? Twist, that's a plot twist. So you, your plot twist was that there is a plot twist. Yeah. At the end. All right. And I think that's the end for us, right? What did we learn? They should give us a lot. They we shouldn't have made a lot of Dreamcast. Things. Sometimes it's... Better to not be, like make movies, yeah. Did Dan say yeah. something about the Sega Dreamcast? So we should all get a Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> Is that what you said? Don't we all have one? That's exactly. What I have two. I never had one. I have a backup one for when the first one breaks. So hey. regret. Regret. Yeah, bro. Don't make stuff. Just because you want to make money, make art, not money. 
Am I still doing those like wrap up statements? Nah. No? It's season two, baby. Okay. So we do what we just want. cut it right here. We just we just cut it? Yeah. Just, all right. Ooh, baby. Sometimes in life you want to recreate the magic. In special moments. But doing that just ruins the moment. It it only happened once. You can't recreate it. You can try fixing it. But when you fix it, you just you make things worse and it's not really worth it. Let it be organic. Let it happen. <laughs> Let it come out of the heart. Let it be genuine. And f- for then, until now, until then, <laughs> keep on looking, searching <laughs> for that genuine stuff in life. Until now. Until now. <laughs> until now. Until then. Search keeping for. <laughs>